Hey guys, it's Miko Rico here, and today I got my cousin's MacBook Air. Um, it looks like they corrupted their operating system, so you just get a folder with a question mark on it. So today we're going to just go ahead and load a brand new OS on it and get this going. So let's get started. Alright guys, so you're going to need a blank flash drive and I'll show you how to format it real fast. First you're going to open up your disk utilities and your flash drive should appear under external. Now I will show you a quick example of what will happen when you attempt to load the OS on the incorrect format. So for now we will format the drive to XFAT. Make sure you do rename the device to my volume though then click erase. Once completed, click done. Now, here is a page from Apple's site on how to create a bootable installer for Mac OS. In this tutorial, we are going to install the latest Mojave. We will need to copy this code, open terminal, and paste it inside of terminal. You will paste the code, type in your password if you have one, then click the letter Y key to start the process. Since my flash drive is in the wrong format, it will error out like this. As the site clearly states, the drive will need to be formatted as macOS extended. I will need to open up Disk Utilities one more time to perform this. Again, make sure the name is my volume and the format is macOS extended. Once completed, we will need to copy that code one more time from the site and paste it in terminal. This time, it should work properly. I will have the link to this website in the description. Again, you will paste the code, type in your password if you have one, then click the letter Y key to start the process. Now this will take several minutes, but I sped it up for the sake of this video. Once the process is completed, make sure to eject your device properly. Now we are going to plug in our Mojave flash drive with the unit powered off. Then we will power on the unit while holding down the Alt or Option key. You will see a screen pop up with the Install macOS Mojave option. We will click it. Once it finally loads, you will see a screen with these four options. We will want to go to the disk utilities. We are going to erase and format the drive before we install the OS to lessen the chances of any conflictions. Now Mojave does use the APFS format, so that's the format we will select. Click done once completed and exit disk utility. Next, we will click on install Mac OS. Click continue, agree, agree once again, and click the hard drive. But in this instance, the installer is telling us we do not have the firmware to use APFS format at this time and we'll need to go back to Mac OS extended format. We will go back to disk utility, select the view option on the top left, and select show all devices. We will select the top container and format that drive to Mac OS Extended. Without selecting Show All Devices, you will not see the option for formatting to Mac OS Extended because the drive is currently formatted to APFS. Once 
Once complete, we will need to go to install macOS. Click continue, agree, agree again, select a drive, and install, and continue. Once this is finally completed and the device has rebooted several times, you will eventually get to a screen that looks like this. Select your country, your keyboard, and your Wi-Fi. For this video, I will go without Wi-Fi and create a local account, but you can connect your network and set up your Apple account from this point. Data and privacy, click continue. And next we will have the opportunity to transfer data from another device. We will have to agree to the terms and conditions. And here I'm creating a quick account since I didn't connect it to Wi-Fi and connect it to my Apple account. We will click continue for express setup. And then we'll have the option for a light or dark theme. I preferred the dark theme, but you can choose what you want here and click continue. Boom, then we're done. You can go to system preferences and desktop and screen savers and change the background theme if you want to but other than that it's all up to your preference now i will have a link to the apple site in the description thank you for watching and if you enjoyed the video i do have another video about a pc build we did for my buddy so if you're looking forward to that please like and subscribe other than that i'll catch you next time